Hi guys, welcome to today's video which is going to be an updated what's on my iPhone. I'm not going to lie, I'm quite excited to show you my iPhone because I've got loads of new apps since I last did this video. My iPhone is just the white rose gold iPhone 5S and the case on it is from Mark by Mark Jacobs from Selfridges. So with that out of the way, I think we can get on with the video. So this is just what my iPhone looks like and if I click into it, this is my background which is just some trees and a forest, I thought it looked cute. Then once you flick across, put in my password, we get into my iPhone. So I'm just going to start from the top. We have messages, calendar, photos, camera, weather, clock, notes, maps, videos, reminders, stocks, game center, newsstand, iTunes store, settings and app store. As you know if you have an iPhone these are all just the standard apps so I'm not going to go through and explain them but I do find that using the weather app is really helpful as well as the map so I don't get lost. And then at the bottom I have phone, mail, safari and music which are all the standard apps as well. So then starting with the custom apps we have sleep cycle which is basically just an alarm clock which I think is really cool because it shows your sleep quality, your time in bed and how many steps you've done that day. Then we have Instagram, you guys obviously you know what Instagram is and this is my Instagram it's usually by cat if you'd like to follow it and yeah I post on that quite regularly then the next app I have is snapchat which if you don't know you just take photos and you can send them to people and my snapchat is Catherine Baker with two R's at the end then my next app is Twitter which you can follow me at which is beauty by cat away then we come on to one of my favorite apps on my iPhone pop and guys before I explain this app I just want to say it is one of the coolest apps I actually have on my iPhone so basically it allows you to send personalized picture messages to your friends. So for example I can choose this picture that my friends took on my phone last night and I could send it to someone. But not only do you send the photo to people but you can put text on it like this and you can change the type of text and the colour as well as drawing on the photo as well. You can also put these really cute emoticon kind of things on it so I could decorate this photo with all these stars as well and flowers and just make the whole picture look so pretty. And then you can simply just send this photo to your friends. You can also use the photos that they've put on the app so I can use a tiger or a road or trees or anything like that. I just think it's a really cute thing to send your friends instead of just sending text messages. So I will send you details on how to download this app below. And then moving on I have Facebook, Starbucks which is one of my most used apps, Gmail which is my email, Tumblr which is my Tumblr. I'll leave the link to my Tumblr below but it's illuminosity.tumblr.com. Then I have Depop where you can sell things. I think this app is so cool because it's like in Instagram but you can buy the things that you see. Then I have Spock which is a little bit like eBay, then I have eBay, <laughs> then I have Timehop and Timehop is probably one of my coolest apps on my iPhone. It basically shows you what you've put on Facebook and Twitter in the past few years. So for example I put this on Facebook three years ago, I look so weird and this on Facebook as well. Then I have Spotify which is a music app, Map My Run which maps my runs, 8tracks which is also a music app. This is definitely one of my favourite apps that I have, basically you choose a theme or a genre, so for example I'll put happy, then you choose another such as indie rock and it will put at the bottom a load of playlists which correspond to your mood. Then I have Messenger which is Facebook Messenger, Lloyds which is my bank, PD which is a girl app, my O2 and O2 Priority which correspond to my mobile provider, my fitness pal which which at the moment I don't use because I find that it's a little bit obsessive but basically it allows you to record all the food you've eaten that day. Then I have YouTube which is obviously the best app on my iPhone, Pinterest which I think is cute just to look at at night if I'm bored, then Podogram which is a really cool app to let you buy the photos on your iPhone, We Heart It which is a little bit like Pinterest, then Letterglow, Rona, Splitpic, Hyperlapse, Square Ready and Afterphoto. And these are basically all just editing apps for my iPhone. I'm not going to go into detail about them because I've done a video about that a few months ago. Then I have 7 minute workout, whatsapp, snap up which allows you to upload your photos to snapchat, find my iphone in case my iphone gets lost, ref me which is a university app that I use for referencing, jump which is a game, 100 balls which is a game and no one dies which is a game. Then I have NUS extra which gives me student discount, health which is just an apple app, calculator which is very helpful if I can't be bothered to do maths, then pacer. And this is actually a brand new app that I got today and I find it really cool because it shows you the amount of steps that you've done. So right now I've done 5.8 kilometers and then finally on my last page I have iBooks, voice memos, FaceTime, Compass, Passbook, Contacts, Tips and Podcasts. And on this last page these apps are kind of neglected because I do not use them. And yeah they are all the apps on my iPhone. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and liked seeing the apps on my iPhone. If you have any app recommendations or other video ideas please comment them down below. So yeah I don't think there's anything else to say so I will see you next time guys. Bye I love you.